Welcome to the all new Rockford Fosgate studio. I'm Greg and in this video we're going to show you how we install the all new Can-Am rear sub solution. This kit is designed to take your four seater to the next level by adding max base performance to your existing Rockford Fosgate audio system. On RX3, we went ahead and strapped the doors open so we could move our cameras easily in and out of the vehicle. This will make things easier, but it's not necessary for your installation. Before you get started, it's always a good idea to disconnect the power when working on any electronics. The battery compartment is located on the back firewall behind the rear seat on the passenger side. Once you have access, you can disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Now this is an add-on kit designed to go with your current Rockford Fosgate sound system. If you're not familiar with the disassembly of your vehicle, we suggest you take a moment to watch one of our initial stage kit installation videos that matches your model. You'll be running wires from the battery area to your source unit. So we're gonna recommend that you remove all four seats for accessibility. Now that you're finished with that, let's go ahead and pop off those side panels on the center console, as well as opening the dash kit housing for your source unit. Now you're ready to run the wiring harness. Let's take a look at its features. On this end, you have your power line with the pre-terminated connections. This includes an inline 40 amp fuse that connects to the battery. Next, we have our input plug that will provide the signal from the source unit. Then we have the built-in Y connector for your remote turn-on. And finally, the RCA Y connector that splits the rear signal from the PMX unit to both of your amplifiers. Start by laying out your battery connections in the appropriate area. Now feed the input line through the center console on the passenger side towards the front of the car. Cross over to the driver's side and run your harness up into the dash. Now let's connect your source unit. You'll unplug the RCAs connected to the rear sub line out of your PMX and plug them into the Y adapter. Then connect your Y adapter into the PMX line out plug. The built in blue Y connector is your remote wire. You'll need to locate this connection from your front amplifier. We were able to access this under the dash on our car, but depending on your initial install, you may have to remove your driver's side dash panel. Now disconnect the spade connectors on the existing line and add in your second amplifier. Once you're done with that, place your source unit dash kit back into place and let's start securing your wiring, pulling the slack back towards the rear of the car. Now you're ready to mount your amplifier. With Rockford Fosgate's preset technology, you're already pre-tuned and ready to roll. So go ahead and mount the amplifier to its mounting bracket and secure it in place using a Phillips head screwdriver and the provided hardware. From the passenger side, you'll need to remove the T30 Torx screw from inside pocket of your center console. Slide the amplifier mount into place and use the existing Torx to tighten. Next, you'll see a pre-existing hole for the bottom frame. Use a provided plug to secure the bottom mount. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and make your connections. First, plug in your input cable, then connect your power harness. Now your output cable will plug into the amplifier and run to its appropriate areas for each subwoofer. All right, now you'll notice the subwoofer enclosure comes preloaded. You have a left driver side and a right passenger side. So let's start with the driver side and mount your offset brackets. Use a T30 Torx and the provided screws to mount your brackets to the enclosure. You're gonna wanna keep these loose for now until you get this mounted into the car. To install the enclosure, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench to remove the retaining bolt that holds the brake line to the frame. Cool. 
We designed this channel to reroute the brake line around the subwoofer. Run the wiring harness through the designated channel using the retaining clips to hold it in place. Then plug in your subwoofer. Now, slide the front of the enclosure under the cross brace until the offset brackets align to the rear studs. Using a T30 Torx, secure the provided bolts to the front seat brackets into the threaded inserts on the enclosure. Now be sure to tighten down your offset brackets and insert the provided spacers. All right, that finishes the driver's side. Now we're gonna follow the same steps with the passenger side subwoofer. Okay, now that you have everything installed, you want to clean up the wiring around the amplifier, make your battery connections, and test your system. All right, now that we have everything tested and installed, let's reassemble the vehicle and go hit those trails. All right, as you can see, that installation came together pretty easy. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our tech support team at 1-800-669-9899. We have more information on our website as well at rockfordfosgate.com. Until next time, I'm Greg, and we'll see you again soon.